What's up everybody? This is Jose from Southern Life. And Katie. On today's video, we're going to be giving you guys a tour of beautiful Yankee Town, Florida, right on the Wiflacoochee River, which tends to flood periodically. We just had Hurricane Adalia work its way through here, and they had some horrendous storm surge flooding. So we're going to show you what the town looks like, and you guys can get an idea. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me why is this part of Florida so affordable. Well, here's your sign. And it's a shame because it really is one of the prettiest towns in Florida. Historic, beautiful, um, old trees. Uh, you'll see it's beautiful. But, um, you know, the storm surge is a serious thing here. And despite being a beautiful town, uh, you know, when these hurricanes come through, they really get a, a, a massive amount of destruction. But you can see uh, how beautiful the towns are, little Florida cottages. Uh, back, I don't know, I don't know nowadays, but back in the day, you could get a house here. I've seen two ones for a hundred thousand dollars and need a little bit of work. And um, I've always had people tell me, oh, you know, Jose, we found this really affordable house in Inglis or Yankee Town. And I'm like, you know, if there's a hurricane, which there will be eventually in Florida, it's going to have a lot of destruction. So, um, unfortunately, they had a massive storm surge come through here. And many times in this town, it's not just a storm surge. It's a storm surge from the ocean, and then it's the floodwaters from up the Wiflacoochee River, which means even heavy rainfall can lead to um, a bad situation. But other than that, it is a beautiful town. And... Um, very beautiful and historic and it's really sad they're going through this hello but we'll show you guys what it's looking like out here um, and uh, they all help each other out here um, I'm part of the Facebook group even though I don't live here which angers a few people like you don't even live out here and you're out here I'm like well too bad but um it's really a pretty town and uh you know, it's really unfortunate because, you know, the, the Florida water is great, but it's also, it's like a two-edged sword. On one side, you have the, the, the fishing, the manatees, the nature, and then on the other side, you always have to be conscious of storm surge. Uh, and in this part of Florida, it's not a rich area of Florida. It's not a wealthy part of Florida. So the storm surge, uh, when it comes through, it is just difficult for the people um there's still water in a lot of places on the ground and they even have a uh, it's sad it's not like fort myers beach where they can afford to rebuild this is not a rich area some people just move to this part of florida it's just for the affordability um i think we did one video where the guy I remember the guy that had that really cool truck i think he passed away Remember the guy that had the really interesting truck? Yeah. We did a video for him. Mm -hmm. But they had a lot of storm surge out here. And you know, these places, they don't make national headlines. Fort Myers, where I'm from, Naples and Fort Myers, oh boy, do they make national headlines. Look at that, a piano. That's so sad, man. Back in Fort Myers, where I'm from, they love being headlines, you know. Whenever the water comes in, it's headlines. And keep in mind, we're up on a hill here. You can tell we're on some elevation. Uh, we're going up and down here. There's some elevation. Uh, you see this house here, even though it's kind of on a hill, it's already on stilts. And uh, some of these houses just have a lot of damage. It's really sad. You can already smell the mold coming in, and uh, it's unfortunately a huge part of hurricanes is the mold. Police officers here on the Levy County Police on the left. I'm gonna go real slow past them so we don't cause a disturbance. Um, most of the destruction is actually on the left side of our screen today, but we're gonna swing back around. You guys will get to see it. Um, I'm showing you guys the pretty stuff first, so you can appreciate. You're gonna see first the pretty stuff, how pretty it is, and then I'll flip back around. You'll see the, the real destruction that's on the right side of us right now. I want to first show you what's on this side of the road so you guys can see the pretty side. But trust me, when I flip this around, you're going to get a, a sense of the destruction of this place. It's horrendous. 
um, lots of furniture. You'll see. But I wanted to start off by showing you guys facing the river, the Lefakucha River. But we're going to pull a U-turn here, and it's going to get a little bit more graphic. <clears throat> so I hope you guys are ready for this. It's pretty nasty on this side. You guys ready for this? It's going to be pretty upsetting, but I can already smell it. You guys are going to see the destruction, which I tried not to start the video with that. I kind of wanted to show you guys the nice part, but um, I am in that Facebook group, and I get a lot of hate on that Facebook group. This area is not the friendliest outsiders. I mean, just the, just the fact it's called Yankee Town would suggest... that uh pretty straightforward there <laughs> you're gonna put a label on these folks over here you get the idea but uh you guys are seeing the imagery i'm smelling it as well it's pretty bad it's pretty sad storm surge destruction everything that gets touched by this water has to go and the smell oh that's bad that's a bad smell Salt water mixing with your furniture. Salt water dies when it's not in the ocean. It becomes a disgusting, distasteful smell. It really, it's horrendous. It really is. Um, it's a, it's a horrible smell. Yeah, the smell of storm surge. Um, and everything that it touches has to go. There's no, if anything, even if it's only underwater for a little bit, the corrosion of salt water in a storm surge is so destructive. Uh, there's no saving anything. Anything that it touches, I've had a lot of times with the hurricane, um, the other hurricane we had, um, <coughs> these people pass real quick, we're just going slow. Yeah. Hello, man. What's up, buddy? Um, with the other hurricane, I had a lot of people ask me, you know, why why everybody got to get rid of everything? There's anything that salt water touches, it will corrode. Vehicle, metal, anything. If it touches salt water, even furniture, because there's metal parts inside and none of it survives. So if you've ever wondered, um, you know, why everything has to go everything has to go it's destructive uh the drywall has to go everything dang they still got a square tv in the house look at that piano you might think oh you put it outside and dry it out no there's no drying it out if it was in storm surge it's done it's over it's horrendous like everything the storm surge touches you have to put it out for the garbage it, it, it's heartbreaking um, and what I find interesting about this situation here, you know, we saw with uh, Hurricane Ian in Southwest Florida how much, oh my, it was just news from the whole world came out to see it. But here, it's not as newsworthy. But I can tell you, you know, it's going to be a lot harder for these people in these poor communities here, uh, affordable retirement areas, than it will be for somebody in Naples or Fort Myers. They're loaded. I mean, come on. The property taxes, the smell so bad. The property taxes on some of those houses in Naples alone, just the property taxes, are enough to pay off one of these houses in two or three years. I mean, it's a different level of money. Um, the same old destruction we've always seen. You can see here, uh, just random stuff scattered everywhere. When you get a good storm surge, stuff floats, too. You good? Mm hmm There's water on the road, and this water is super corrosive. I mean, literally, if you... I'm going to go real slow over it, because if you just get that on your car... It's salt water. And it's not just salt water. It's stirred up salt water mixed with chemicals and whatever else it picks up along the way. It's pretty bad stuff. See some of these houses aren't really rich people houses. I haven't been able to see a, a water line yet, 
but I'm pretty sure, I mean, you can figure here, if the furniture's outside, it had to be at least maybe a foot inside the house. Hard to tell. Could have been more. This mobile home's up on a hill. <coughs> I mean, like, the people here are different. Like, I, even on a, when, uh, well, they're, they're good to each other. Let's put it that way. There not be no dang yank coming out here. They're good to each other. Let's just put it that way. Um, to each other. It's really great paper right here. We're going to be turning into a secondary road here again in a minute. It's great paper towards each other. We treat each other right. I don't know about other people. We treat each other right. Hell, man. man. You can see this car's got its doors open. And if we had water going inside it, the temporary fix, I'll mess up the computers. It just corrodes everything. There's no getting around it. Be a bad place to buy a car for the next few years. I mean, a few months would be super bad time to buy a car around here. Because at first you won't. You know, it takes, corrosion doesn't always happen right off on the spot. It's an eventual thing. But yes, I've had a lot of confusion with the last hurricane. People saying, oh, that stuff will dry right up. No, it won't. It's going to rot right up. And salt water stinks, let me tell you, man. How's that beautiful town? It just has that one fault down there. Storm surge. And what's the other? Oh, yeah, racism, too. I can't forget that. But that's not what today's video is about. Here, a generator, so they still don't have power here. Oh, that's a water pump. Okay, a water pump. I thought they got water restored here. You gotta pump it out. Pump, pump, pump it out. You gotta pump, pump, pump it out. You gotta pump it out. Pump, pump, pump it out. Pump it out. Pure destruction. <sighs> but uh, I'm gonna see y'all when y'all see me on that Facebook group down there. I better not be. Y'all better be nice to me. I'm not gonna put up any disrespectations down there. This is one of my favorite little buildings here. Let's do little buildings here. Favorite little buildings in this town right here. These are my two little favorite buildings here. Pristine. I'm gonna let this car pass. He's definitely in a rush. He's just like in a rush out there. You go right ahead, y'all. Go right ahead, you're good. Oh, they won't pass me? Okay, they turn. All right. Well, I'm not in a rush. I'm sightseeing. Stray dog. Welcome to North Florida. Then they won't pass you because they have all their southern house or tad edges. You can pass somebody like that. Might just be wrong. Pass somebody like that. I had a video planned for this area talking about how y'all ain't right. But since y'all just went through the hurricane, I'm not going to be too rough on y'all today. I'll come back when things are back to normal. And I'm gonna, I, got a little, I got a little issue I got to resolve for this part of Florida. But I'll get to y'all in a minute. We'll be right now. Oh, nice. Never seen radar. Dang, I can't believe that thing flooded, man. It's got the blue interior. That's just a tragedy right there, I tell you what. Dang tragedy, man. Dang tragedy. That thing got the blue and tear. The most painful thing I've seen all day is a Silverado flooding. <clears throat> I haven't seen the watermarks on stuff. And there's another flooded Silverado. That's a weird choice, huh? <coughs> I 
haven't seen the water mark yet though. I can find a water. Oh, four, look you see on that one. Four feet right here. You can see it on this one. Look how high the water came. Wow. That's crazy. It's like a homeless camp, but it's in your front yard. Look at the water mark, four feet. Mm -hmm. You can see it's just underneath the windows. About four feet of water. So my camera right now would be just above the water. The angle of our camera right now would be just above the water. It was pretty serious. <coughs> and it, it's just an unbearable smell. It really is. The smell of uh, a bad smell. It just gets all up in your lungs and horrible crap. Yeah, that's a little on there. Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, that's Yankee Town checking out.